describe the major types of subsequent events, and then just indicate how each of the following subsequent events would be reported, either by adjusting the financial statements, disclosure, or neither. Okay, so the two types of subsequent events are one, those that provide additional evidence about conditions that existed at the statement of financial position date, affect the estimates used in preparing the financial statements, and therefore need adjustment. And the second type are those that provide evidence about conditions that did not exist at the statement of financial position date, but arose subsequent to the date of the financial position and do not require adjustment, but whose effects may be significant enough to be disclosed. So let's go through these events and see what we think. So the first one is collection of a note written off in a prior period. Well, number one, the, the receivable existed at the statement of financial position date. So knowing that we can collect on this amount means that we will need to and we would need to adjust, sorry, the financial statements. Okay, number two, issuance of a legal of a large preferred share offering. Well, presumably the preferred share offer offering happened after the statement of financial position date, in which case we would disclose it. Three. Acquisition of a company in a different industry, again, assuming it happened after the statement of financial position date, we would disclose it. Four, destruction of a major plant in a flood. Again, this happened after the statement of financial position date, but we would definitely disclose it. Five, death of a company's chief executive officer. That's very sad, but we don't need to disclose that or adjust. So this is actually neither. Sadly, it's part of regular business operations. Six, additional wage costs due to the settlement of a four week strike, which took place in the new fiscal year. Well, interestingly enough, ASPE and IFRS both say that strikes are considered general, general, uh, general information and don't require disclosure themselves. And the, the pay change happens for in the next year. So we would actually, the answer to this is actually neither. Seven, settlement of a federal income tax case at considerably more tax that was anticipated at year end. Well, from the fact that we anticipated at year end, it obviously existed at year end. Now we have more information. So we're gonna go back and adjust. Change in the product mix from consumer goods to industrial goods. This is just part of general business operations and the answer is neither. 